one never tires of looking at these majestic snow-capped peaks, nor in recapping the adventure that waits below. For in this virgin wood waits perhaps the most formidable beast in all of North America, the grizzly bear. Below in the tangle of summer's boast of greenery, devil's club, and a host of other natural things that bar the way, lies the challenge of today's unique, exciting hunt, bow and arrow for grizzly bear. On today's hunt, we join famed archer Fred Bear, one of the country's leading exponents of bow hunting, and his friend and guide, Bill Love, of Love and Lee Outfitters. On an earlier American sportsman show, we saw Fred Bear and actor Fess Parker after Grizzly with rifle. At that time, Fred explained his bow, and let's recap the points he made. Tell me about your bow. What pound is does that draw? 70 pounds. Yeah. That's the draw weight in fact, the full length, you know, the pounds. It's kind of a man to pull 70 pounds. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you one of the arrows. It has a uh, X-type uh, head on it, two cutting edges. Is this the kind of area you've used to kill all six of your bears? Yeah, I've used that the same head. That's a razor head. I've used it for 15 years now. It's a hollow fiberglass? Yeah, it's a hollow fiberglass. Uh, arrow. Wet with turkey feathers, the, the arrow at an angle, so the arrow spins. How close are you? Not to only has Fred taken the mighty grizzly with his bow, well, but he has had the opportunity to hunt and kill the elephant, largest of land animals, and reputedly the most savage of game to be hunted. He will attack without provocation at any time. Also, the king of beasts has fallen to Fred's arrow, not to mention that most evil of big game, the Cape Buffalo, a customer hard to stop with any weapon. The tiger also graces Fred's trophy room. But of all animals, it is the grizzly that captivates Fred the most. He is hard to approach, and when angered, few game animals are respected more than the grizzly bear. In this rough and lonely country, horses are an accepted mode of travel. The hunters have the day before found and marked a recent grizzly kill, a yearling moose. They expect the big bear to move in each day until all the meat's consumed. A lucky find in these dense woods for it spots and locates the area where they are to hunt. Even now, our hunters, and rightly so, anticipate that a feeding bear will be on or near his recent kill. Well, I hope we can find that bear. Oh, my. I guess we're off, eh? We're off, yeah. Although they still have some way to go, the hunters move quietly and with caution, for they themselves walk a bare trail, and there's no telling what lies beyond in the deep shadows of this unknown wood. For if the bear is feeding now, to ensure a clean kill with an arrow, it means a near approach, far closer than would be needed with a rifle. Guys, it looks like a mighty storm, eh? Well, it's caught over, Bill. Well, well, that'd be all right. We got the wind in our favor. Well, it's going to be better for the bears, too, isn't it? Yes, it's... Do they like cloudy, damp weather? That's right. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go, go eh? Bye-bye. 
imagine missing a shot like that? Clean miss, eh? It sure was. Well, you don't miss very often, then, I? I know, but you don't get too many chances like that either. That was a beautiful bear sitting right up there looking at him. Oh, well, we'll have a chance at him again. Well, you suppose he might come back? Oh, I don't. He doesn't seem too alarmed. Yeah, maybe another one will come back, huh? That's right. I think we'll go back ways, and I believe that'll be the right way, way to do. Huh? Okay. Hey, how would you like me to use that for a backup? For a backup? I don't know about that, Bill. But this, this, uh, this is a bow and arrow, of course, you know that. That's right. <laughs> no, the bow hasn't any shocking part to speak of. It's a deadly weapon, but you have to be pretty close. And uh, what you're doing with an arrow is shooting a knife. Actually, uh, uh, there's been more people killed in uh, warfare with the bow and arrow than have been killed since the invention of gunpowder in the 14th century. Is that right? Yeah, you see. It's a pretty important weapon. Shh.
not uh, rush in there too hasty like Bill. After all, we just think he's dead. Well, I guess I don't think we'd have to worry. It doesn't look like it. My God, isn't he a beauty? Ooh. Hey, that's all right, eh? Isn't that nice? Gee, what a bear. Huh. Guess she's well, well fur too, eh? Blonde on the top, silver on the sides, down into black legs. I know why they call them silver tips now. You get the silver tip. Look at the teeth. He is a snarl even in his death, though. That's right. Yeah, holy gee. Well, see How about those car feet? he's got here, eh? They're pretty long, aren't they? Usually they're worn down more at this time of year. Yeah, sure that's a are. beautiful mm -hmm. foot. Well, you can understand how he clawed down that moose, huh? Yeah, I see. Gosh, that was a quick kill, really. Well, those arrows, they do business. I've been telling you that, you know. You won't believe me, and here... Well, I'll believe from here on out. I yeah, well. Huh? <laughs> sure will. Fred Bear has a trophy to be proud of. A silver-tipped grizzly. But even more, he has demonstrated the challenge and excitement of a bow and arrow hunt. Unlike the long-range hunting afforded by the modern rifle, in bow hunting, you must be able to stalk with great care and skill to within a few yards of your trophy.